Hey YouTube, what's up? So today I'm gonna be making some protein oat balls. These are a pretty good source of protein. They're a good source of carbs too, and they have some fat from peanut butter. Also, I wouldn't say they're like a uh, crazy high protein uh, snack, but they do a good job. If you were to just eat these, you'd get more like more than enough protein than you need for the whole day. So let's get started off. First of all, you're gonna need a bunch of oats. So about 160 grams or two cups of oats. Um, I like I use a food scale just because it's a little more accurate uh, than measuring it out, but whatever you have. Um, and then we're gonna put in, I use two scoops of this protein powder or about 80 grams. Uh, and that's gonna get us about 50 grams of protein powder just, just from the protein powder. Make sure to zero your scale or else you'll have to do some math in your head like me. Uh, there we go. Looking good. And here we go. As a sweetener, I'm gonna be using dried cranberries and raisins, but any dried fruit really will work, or you can use chocolate chips, but it'll just change the macros. I use about 40 grams or a quarter cup of each, and that comes out to just around 300 calories for all of them. Uh, if you were to use something like chocolate, if you're trying to get the same effect, you're probably gonna need to use like 400 or 500 calories of chocolate, which will make them less of a protein snack and more of a, uh, you know, power snack. And then the hardest thing to measure for me is always the peanut butter. Let me grab a spoon. So what I like to do is take your bowl off of your food scale uh, and we're going to be using four servings or about eight tablespoons of peanut butter, which comes out to 128 grams for me. So what I like to do is put the peanut butter on the scale and then take peanut butter out until it goes into the negative 128. So right now I'm at negative 70 grams of peanut butter, negative 100, negative 120, so one more scoop and we should be good. It's 134, but it's not gonna be crazy for off by a little bit. So you just wanna mix this stuff together. I'll come back when it's mixed and, or oh, water. Okay, so last thing you wanna do is add in 110 grams of water or a little under half a cup. Um, if you add too much, it'll be too sticky. If you don't add enough, it'll be too dry, but you can play around with the water anywhere from like 100 to 120 should give you a pretty good consistency. So you don't have to be crazy accurate. I just find the 110 gives me the best consistency. So I'll come back when it's mixed and I'll show you what it looks like. Your mixture should look a little something like this. It should be a little bit sticky but it shouldn't, it should kind of come out of your hands without leaving too much residue. And we're gonna put this in the fridge for about 30 minutes to let it cool before you form it into balls just so it hardens a little bit more and doesn't kind of smoosh down, I guess. And you're also gonna wanna cover it with some plastic wrap to make sure it doesn't pick up any uh, nasty odors in the refrigerator. So I just took it out of the fridge and it's a little cold to the touch, but not like freezing or anything. Um, you're gonna wanna make roughly golf ball sized balls. Uh, I find around golf ball size makes about 20 balls. So the whole recipe is about 2000 calories and 100 grams of protein. So with 20 balls, you're getting 100 calories and five grams of protein. So if you know, you're going for a walk or something or gonna be exercising somewhere and want some quick protein, can get a like 500 calories 25 grams of protein for only five balls which is pretty portable so 
So there we go, 20 balls exactly. And now I just cover it with some saran wrap, uh, put it back in the fridge, and then whenever you want one, you can just sink one out. And they're pretty quick to eat, you know. You can probably down one of these in like 10, 20 seconds. So if you're on the go, you could have a quick 1,000 calorie meal in like two or three minutes. Uh, so they're pretty time efficient that way too. Hope you guys are doing good uh, with all this quarantine stuff. And uh, see you in, in another video.